I bought books based off of FOMO. I'm Charity, book to fruit reader, and I just bought some books based off of FOMO. I don't encourage that book buying behavior. <laughs> Normally, I am a book buyer of used books. I like buying used books. I like them not matching. I like them crinkly and things like that. I like a good, well-used books, but I wanted some books because I kept seeing it trending on Book Talk and Bookstagram, and I just had to get them brand new. I don't normally buy brand new books. Usually I get new books when it's gifted to me or if it's an ARC from a publisher or an author. And that's normally when what I do. And I usually hold off on buying any new books. But I this time I did because I, I have some friends reading some of these books. And I was like, I have to read it. I don't want to be left behind this time, not knowing how good the book is or why it's good. And I just had to get it. But as you can tell, I don't need any more. But I got three books. And I'll tell you where I found them at. And I'm excited to, to finally, finally read it. Here's another thing as well. I just have to say. Buying new books are risky. Especially ones that are hyped. More times than I want to count that there was a hyped book out there. And I didn't love it as much probably because I have too high expectations going into that particular book but I did it anyways and it didn't love it as much so I'm nervous about this into these books but I'm I'm looking forward to it so the first book that I found was from a booktuber uh, Olivia reads a latte I love following her blogs and I noticed that a lot of our fantasy books that we love we, we have similar tastes, so I trust her judgment and I trust her recommendations. So when she recommended The Just Said Hair by Sarah Hassim, I decided to get it. She said that it is a more fantasy-based than romance. Romance is more of the subplot in this particular book. So I was like, okay, when I first saw this book, I passed by it. I didn't love the cover. And sadly enough, a lot of times... The only way to really get me to look into a book is through the book cover. And I know I shouldn't do that, but there's so many books out there that seeing a book, you know, book cover, you, you just kind of have to filter it through. But I didn't put this one on, but when she recommended this and it being Egyptian based, I was like, okay, I got to get it. I got to get it. It's Egyptian based. It is has a little bit of romance in it. I have been that kid that growing up, I loved Egyptian. I wasn't looking up ponies. I wasn't looking up anything. I was looking up mummification in the Egyptian religion. That's what I was doing. That's what I was checking out of the library as my nonfiction reads, <laughs> especially if it was a picture book. Um, <laughs> but I am very curious about this one. I, I love anything to do with Egypt. I have high expectations with this one and I hope it can deliver, especially since a booktuber recommended to me. I'm excited about this one. Spark of the Everflame by Pen Cole. So from what I understand, this book has been around for a little bit, a hot minute. I think she is going to release her fourth book this year. And it's now just starting to pick up on our, my Facebook groups, you know, book, bookstagram or book talk. Uh, it has been a lot of times I've seen it in Facebook or book talk. I love the cover and a lot of people who have said, you know, who read this really love it. And the comments say that they really loved it too. I haven't found a negative thing about this book quite yet. I haven't been digging through the comments on or through the reviews on Goodreads yet. I'm scared to do it. But I heard some really good things about this book. So I'm looking forward to diving into this. You know what was funny was is that one of the reasons why I also I picked this up was because at the one point it says a dying king's handsome mysterious heir watching her every move. <laughs> you know, ever have a word that just sticks out to you and you're like, okay, TBR. <laughs> handsome mysterious heir is mine. So... I'm looking forward to trying this out. It's a new author for me, so. Last of all is a book talk sensation is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. For what I understand, this like has a vibe of like Red Queen and Hunger Games mixed in it from when I was reading the, the synopsis and things like that. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. 
I recommended this book without reading this first to a close friend and she's like, oh, this is exactly up my alley. And I'm like, okay, we have the same reading taste, so I know I'm going to love it. So I don't know. I like the designs that's in this book as well. See, I don't know. I like that. And then of course, naked book cover. So hopefully I'm not going to put these books on my TBR shelf for a year. Hopefully I'll read this this year because these are very interesting reads and I'm excited to read them. So yeah, thank you for joining me. See you. Catch you later readers.